as we toured, uh, Bobby Taylor and the Vancouver's uh, was one of the up and coming acts right. in in those days. Um, 68, 69, I guess. Uh, we, we would all uh, tour. There'd be, you know, uh, The Temptations, Diana Ross and the Supremes, and blah, 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 a whole list of us. So they would send us all, and I would play the organ in the big band because that was my. Uh, I also played with Bobby Taylor right. in, in his band. Uh, but I was uh, yeah. the resident organist yeah. as well. So um, why did I play a G thirteenth? Answer me that. Um, yeah. Um, at any rate, so uh, we did uh, tours in England. Played uh, Blazes, which I think has gone up in Blazes, and uh, the Speakeasy. And he used to hang around. Uh, Jimi Hendrix used to come down to this club and hang out with. What's his name? Brian the uh, thank Brian Jones. Jones, yeah. Sorry, rented brain. Yeah, low mileage. Um, at any rate, they would uh, like to come to the speakeasy and hang out, and saw us play. So Jimi Hendrix um, asked if he he liked uh, the band. It was a good band, fabulous band. Um, he. Uh, uh, asked if he could sit in, so he used uh, Wes Henderson's bass, turned it backwards and upside down. I played bass pedals, and um, he took guitar leads on the bass, left-handed. Anyone who has who uh, has gotten past the hurdle of of uh, you know listening to his heart and. Uh, Following his uh, dream, I guess people would say, that's called listening to your heart. Um, I knew at a very early age that all I wanted to do was play keyboards and make music. It wasn't until later that I realized that I, that the the effect of doing that uh, was that it made people really happy. That music is a healing thing for all of us. Uh, Regardless of whether it's uh, polkas or symphony or uh, uh, whatever, you know, I mean, I, when I worked with uh, people like like uh, Brian Adams, I mean, all he did was just have a ball, and that's all we did. That's a, that's the point of the program. Jimi Hendrix was exactly like that. He um, didn't uh, fall down to uh, the peer pressure sort of thing. He wanted to do it. He was, uh, uh, as I am in any one of us, if, if we're honest enough, uh, you know, it, it still blows my mind when I meet somebody that's really famous. However, the wonderful thing uh, is that you, you realize that uh, the vast majority, uh, there's only a, a few idiots uh, uh, that are, are true geniuses that aren't really nice people. They're all wonderful people. So anyway, he was uh, Jimi Hendrix. We get back to him. He was hanging out with Brian Jones. And he was just totally gaga uh, with the Stones. So anyway, he, that's uh, that, that little story. Yeah. Uh, and Morty Fee, uh, who gave me the the wonderful opportunity of being able to write or arrange. Uh, some uh, symphony scores uh, for a tour she did with Harry Belafonte, and I was helped uh, by a master, uh, Michael Conway Baker, in doing it, uh, said to me, and she, she truly is, uh, I must say, uh, a very big influence, and Mortify, a great, a beautiful soul, a loving, soul and, and truly one of my mentors and kin. Uh, we played in Toronto uh, doing something, I think it was with the symphony, maybe not. Uh, and she, we, we had two standing ovations at the end, it was jam, oh it was the opening of uh, the uh, uh, Roy Thompson Hall. Uh, I got it. Uh, Anyway, yeah. And uh, 
The reviews were the shits the next day. So I wake up in my room, and we, we had uh, them, I think, uh, adjoining uh, suites or whatever. So I went and uh, said, what the heck did you, why, why? It was awful. The review was terrible. I said, what? And, and uh, uh, she, in so many words, uh, she said, you know what I do with the bad reviews? I just rip them up and throw them in, in the waste paper basket or the head of and uh, if they're really good reviews, I uh, mail them to my mom. The end. A lot of people uh, tend to believe in their reviews. That's one of the things, by the way, speaking about Hendrix, that really fucked him up. And that's one of the things that, that I had to deal with, too, uh, coming out of Motown. I, I felt, I thought, I'm on top of the world. You know, I'm Marvin Marvelous, uh, which is crap. Quite frankly, uh, I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for uh, music. Even uh, you know, with all the uh, all the uh, drug wars I've gone through and all uh, you know, all the crap, yeah. uh, you know, we've all been exposed to it, and uh, I wouldn't be afraid of it. It's it's more a question of just being true to your heart and and allowing other people to be your friend. You learn, you know. I mean, I know how to pay my rent uh, and stuff like that, usually. <clears throat> uh, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, do the, the necessary grown-up things. <laughs> uh, wonderful thing is that I've been uh, uh, blessed with is that I have true friends. They inspire me. You know, me, the person. Oh, by the way, I happen to be a musician. Right, right, right. I mean, that, that is truly, uh, when it comes right down to it, quite incidental. You have uh, true friends and you listen to your heart, you can learn. So I've learned by being a professional sideman, playing with Alice Cooper, uh, working for Bernie Taupin, uh, doing, um, uh, you know, Seasons in the Sun with Terry Jacks, working with Roy Forbes, uh, blah, the list, the list yeah. goes on. I'm yeah. working for people like Bob Rock and, and uh, uh, Brian Adams and, and all these wonderful people. Uh, they're the nicest people you'd ever want to meet in your whole life. Uh, they're all pleasantly bananas. Hello. <laughs> what, you want normal? Don't pick me. I, I, However, I enjoy uh, uh, and, and I'm thrilled. I'm blessed to be able to see other people's insides so I can learn like a, a good actor would. Uh, learn how to uh, sort of cop their attitude and be them uh, through my eyes, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I do you know what I yeah, mean? I think I uh, I think I that, that to me is a, it's a constant <laughs> learning process, and like we were talking about earlier, uh, it's a, a very much a you know it's a, it's therapy. Yeah, it's it's therapy. therapy. It's a healing. Music thing. is a thing that makes you be uh, yourself. It reminds you of, of of what actually is. It's my talent, and it isn't even my talent. It's something I've been given. It's my responsibility to take care of. Thus, uh, the, uh, the enjoyment that I've gotten uh, and the learning, the life lessons I've learned from being a, a, a professional side man. We all, if we follow our hearts, for heaven's sake, if you want to be a, a, you know, a musician and uh, be a, a, a side man, you, it, it's nothing but fun. All you have to do is check your ego at the door. Yeah, right. And that's the point of that program. Mm -hmm.